I could not beat Portugal. <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week we're back with the nation of Benin. Benin is a nation located in Western Africa, right on the coast right here next to the Gold Coast and the Cape Coast. It has one of the most powerful national idea sets in all of West Africa, in all of Africa, and maybe even in the entire game with heavily, heavily militarily focused national ideas. Morale of armies, manpower, land fire damage, siege ability, fort defense, and we also got other awesome stuff like tax, goods produced, and trade efficiency. So super, super powerful national ideas. We even have the only cheap province to spawn an institution in right here in Ijebu. And we also start off with a monument in Benin. So it's definitely a super, super powerful nation. But what do we do as Benin? Well, since we're so powerful, why not show off all that power and try and conquer all of the Sahel, Niger, and Guinea regions, and even fight some colonizers. And before we begin, if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos with challenges like this, or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Let's jump in as Benin. Alright, alright, here we are as Benin. Now, I think we have a unique government form that only we have as Benin. I don't think any other country has this. The Great Man? Tier 1 Tribal Administration Government Reform. It gives us plus 10% production efficiency and minus 10% leader cost. Great man. But we also start off without feudalism, which is gonna be extremely painful for us. We're definitely gonna have to spawn it. Alright, so let's get started with some estate stuff. Alright, estate stuff done. Let's take a uh, hmm, switch primary cult. I don't wanna do that. Let's take the vision quest. Uh, who are my rivals? Oyo and Nupe. Alright, alright. I'll rival those boys as well. Let's see if we can ally someone. Hmm. I do want a sorta strong nation to ally. Maybe someone like Bonoman? Yeah, sure, sure. What about these Yatenga guys right there? Sure, I'll ally them as well. And we already got claims on this stuff from uh from this. So uh maybe we can try and fight them. They're not too powerful. Let's take a look at our force limit. It's eight. Excellent. Let's get rid of this horse. Too expensive for me. And let's get the free company going. Boom, right there. I'm also gonna wait, let me take a look at these guys. Alright, we definitely want to get rid of that air, so let's give him military command. And uh, do we have the money for any advisors? Actually, we kind of do. Is there any gold around us? Yeah, it's over here in Mali. We'll get to that later. And let me get actually uh, a fort defense guy. Sure. We also have boats. That's pretty cool. Let's tell these guys uh, to protect trade in the Ivory Coast. Excellent. Unfortunately, we didn't receive any unique missions with the Origins update, which is a shame because Benin is such a powerful nation. But oh well, I guess we'll have to make do with what we have. All right, all right. A month has passed. Let's declare on Nupe. They've allied Kona over here. Can we co belligerent? No, 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 we can't. Uh, let's declare for Ida right here. <laughs> they, they lost the natives. <laughs> By the way, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna be staying fetishist the entire game. You know, I shouldn't have mocked them because I just got stack wiped by uh, 9k natives in Cameroon. Uh, not off to a good start. <laughs> All right, we're done with this first war. Of course, a lot more expensive than it needed to be, but you know, I guess it is what it is. All right, well, since the first war is done, let's chill and uh, spawn feudalism, apparently, dude. Feudalism, oh my god. Wait, no, actually, I should first take tech three? No, no, I shouldn't. Uh, let's just just dev for it, man. Let's just dev for it. You know, sometimes you gotta just spawn feudalism. I'm gonna get rid of this guy too. He's not good enough. All right, chilling is done. We've almost spawned feudalism. I just need one more click and it's time to declare our next war versus Kano over here because Songa is not gonna join. Listen, we gotta take advantage of that. And there we go. Boom. This should be uh, a little easier than the previous war, I think. Yeah, they don't really have a lot of uh, stuff. And there we go, man. Pretty easy, straightforward war. Uh, let me bump this up. Boom. There we go. We got feudalism. We need uh, apparently 50 ducats to embrace it, which we will do right after this war. And let's take all these pro- Wait, why is it so expensive? Why is it so expensive? Are these like high dev? Oh, they are. This one's 15. This one's 15 too. Hmm. Maybe we can't full annex these guys. What if we do something like this? Hmm. I think only the Muslim nations will be mad since these guys are Sunni. So we can chill from fighting these guys up here and just fight the fetishes guys down here, which we don't have a problem with. Yeah, so let's do something like this. I will get the most valuable provinces. Uh, war reps, ducats, and an alliance. Sure. 
All right, we're looking good. Like I said, only these guys up top are mad because they're also Sunni, but of course a coalition won't form. Now I can also embrace feudalism, which is excellent. And I think I'm the only nation that has feudalism, unless Songhai has gotten it and they haven't, I've gotten it. Either way, it's gonna spread to all of these guys anyway, since not everyone hates me. So I might as well try and sell it, but no one will take it. And all of these guys are poor anyway. I guess it is what it is. Man, it's a good thing we start off with that plus 10% national manpower or else we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. All of these guys here, they all struggle with manpower. Well, at least in the hands of a player. And our second government reform, Martial Society, is also gonna give us 20% more, which should put us right in a sweet spot. All right, we chilled a bit. It's time to move on. Let's fight Dahomey here and uh, maybe vassalize these other guys, Fada Ngurma, which I've obviously never heard of. Let's declare... Boom. Tier 2 government reform time, and obviously martial society is pretty much the tribal version of strength and noble privileges. So let's take strength and noble martial society. And this war is done as well. Let's take the homie and vassalize these other guys up here too. All right, right, perfect. All right, now we got a little subject going. There we go, there we go. Do they have any claims and stuff? They actually do. So yeah, the thing is, all of these guys that I'm about to fight, all of them have like 49 allies. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty uh, tough to say the least. Wait, I can ally a guy? Actually, I think that might be smart. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. All right, I've allied a strong guy, so I think we should be good. I'm a curry favors with them. Next, target acquired. Beep, 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 boop, boop, boop. It's the nation of Zazao. Declare war. They are allied to Yatenga. Call in Bonoman. Yes, yes. No diplomats. Diplomats acquired. Confirm. Finally, man, we got tech 3 and all categories were developed, yes, which means we can once again start spawning an institution, this time the renaissance in an even more expensive province. Well, at least it's our capital, so yeah, we got a little discount there. I wish I had the money to bump this to a level 2, but I don't think I don't. It's already 57 to dev it up, man. Hey, uh, what are you gonna do? Well, let's full annex these guys too. Everything is going well, man. I told you guys, Bannon, super powerful nation, mission fulfilled, uh... Okay, so now I think we can get some burger loans. Yes, yes, there we go. Oh, actually, we can bump this up to a level two. Awesome. Oh, two, two points. Two monarch points cheaper. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, do we have the feudalism? Of course we do. All right, time to continue on. I really want to beeline to the gold mine in lobby here. So we're going to fight Oyo here, who's allied to Wagadugu. That's this nation right here. I think I'm just going to feed Wagadugu to Fada Ngurma, and we should be able to annex them in about uh, three or four years. So uh, yeah, we'll be right on the doorsteps of Lobi, and I think I'm also gonna break my alliance with Bonoman after this war is done. So let's declare on Oyo right here. Can we co-belligerent Wagadugu? Hmm, Jene. Jene is kind of strong, but I think we can call in Songai and uh, yeah, just Songai to help out. So let's declare for Oyo. And this little war is done as well. I love playing as Ben, and honestly, I've never played as these guys, man, but it's super, super fun, you know that? Plus, the morale and manpower at the start is a really, really powerful uh, starting traditions. So yeah, doing great, baby, doing great. I haven't played in West Africa in a while, so uh, yeah, I'm very, uh, I'm feeling very good about this run, boys. Hopefully, those are not my famous last words. <laughs> I love spawning an institution, and it gets stuck at 99.96. I literally have to waste 137 more monarch points for 0 0.04 bro uh all right let's take this ae impact stuff my capital is a jungle not too many jungles to fight in so yeah definitely this uh we can also embrace the renaissance i took out some loans perfect and uh nations have already started to tech up to tech four like uh timbuktu songai and guys like that but at least it'll be much cheaper for me uh Look at me, look at this man. Top field alt, they're 555 five, five, and they're yellow, which means uh nations should be at uh six six five or six five five, something like that. That's the highest tech around right now. Even Wadai has tech five, dude. Do they have a god? Oh, that's why they have a tech five. All right, all right. King Robert here just got on the throne, and we got a pretty good air, so that's nice. Can we actually spawn a faceting here in Ife? <laughs> well, it uh, looks like my little alliance with Timbuktu here backfired because they suck now. <laughs> How did Jenny get so big, dude? Jesus. Can I ally someone strong at least? No, looks like I'm left all by myself, boys. That's fine. All right, I got tech four. I don't think anyone here has tech five, obviously, apart from uh, uh, Wadai right here. So I think we should commence our battles. I kind of took a look at the missions and they're actually not that bad. So let's get three guys to pay us war reps, uh, which is gonna be Dagbon's three allies right here, uh, Fulo, Kong, and Yatenga. And we're obviously gonna annex Dagbon. Ooh, they're making dies. Nice. Great relations. That sucks. Let me do this right here. Boom. And relations shouldn't be... Oh, 
How much do these people like me, man? Jesus. Should I just declare on Kong then? No, because I'm gonna have to fight Songai. Alright, let me take a look at this. I, uh, I have to do this, man. We're gonna lose stab, but <laughs> it is what it is. Let me get defensive all up in my capital and, uh, let's go and knock out Fulu first. I can't go there. Let's knock out Yatenga first. This war is a little tougher because some of these guys, uh, well, they got big armies, but listen, we already got Kong and, uh, Fulu out, so it's no big deal. And now I can take this mission, gathering tributes. Wonderful. Strong leadership? Awesome. I didn't know we got claims. Wait, why Why do I get claims on uncolonized? Ah, I guess it's for later. They're perma claims, right? Let me see that. Uh, they're not perma claims? Lame. All right, man. I think we're finally done with this war. Probably the toughest war so far, to be honest. Uh, these guys are starting to get a lot of troops, man. A lot of troops. Sure, I am the strongest nation, but uh, let's see how far that'll take us. Bruh. I just realized, Janae is a vassal of a Songai, dude. What's going on here, man? Listen, these guys, I know they are uh, supposed to be strong in Origins, but uh, I didn't know they were supposed to be this strong, man. How are we gonna get around their alliance network over here, man? We're pretty much trapped, dude. This is gonna be super hard, boys. All right, well, we gotta continue our conquest somehow, at least try and get around this. Um, Let's declare on Kano right here, Co-Belligerent, Wadai, and Ayer. I think I'm gonna vassalize these two guys and uh, annex Kano over here. So yeah, I'm scared of Songai. Let's get a uh, let's get religious society. I do need that religious unity. Uh, all right, not bad. I beat up everyone. All of these one and two province miners. I'm not that strong, am I? All right, let's annex these guys. Vassalize Ayur. Vassalize uh, Wadai. There we go. Money. Yep. Uh, okay. Now we gotta fight Kong. Dude, it's literally impossible, man. Look at Songai's relations. Allied to Yao, allied to Jolov, Jene is a subject, and they're guaranteeing Kong. Literally the only nation I can attack without fighting Songai and their boys is Katsina right here. Well, maybe I can actually make Yao and their alliance with Songai in this war? All right. All right, let's do this. Let's declare on Katsina. We're also gonna fight Timbuktu and Yao. I might vassalize Timbuktu and I might make Yao give back some uh, Ayur and Wadai cores. So uh, let's do that. Even though we won't be co-belligeranting them. Oh, reconquest? Let's retake Ayur? Sure. Sure. I will do that. I will do that, my boy. All right, for our first idea group, we are gonna take quality ideas. I do need boats and even stronger armies. Uh, I'm not a head on tech, so I won't take an idea yet. And uh, I really don't know if we're gonna call colonized to be honest let's just take all the owned provinces in these three regions but we'll see if i do decide to colonize i am gonna take expansion next all right i've beaten up yao let's make them end their alliance with songai and give back all of these stuff to my subjects and then we'll finish them off later oh uh, perfect let's go vassalize timbuktu and we've beaten these guys up too sheesh let's give this back to ayur and vassalize timbuktu so we got one more ayur core to reconquer and a bunch of timbuktu cores to reconquer uh now i I guess we fight Kong. Ah, uh, so it's gonna be Kong, Songai, and Jene. That's gonna be tough, but at least Jolof won't join. Or we wait for our truce with Yao. That's actually quite a long ways away. Or we declare on Songai directly. Nah, let's fight Kong next. All right, so things are looking great so far, man. Let's declare on uh, Kong right here, and uh, we'll declare for Lobi. I don't know what we're gonna make Songai do, but maybe return provinces to Timbuktu if it's not too expensive. I guess we'll see. You know what? I think I'm just gonna make Songai end their alliance with Jolof. Uh, Jolof right here so it's easier to fight them later and just piece them out get Timbuktu scores back later and right now we just focus on Kong wipe them out get the gold mine I think that's a pretty good strat uh invest in a new idea I will take more yearly army tradition thank you yeah man we're looking stronger and stronger every moment Benin is OP and Kong is done just like that boom lobby gold mine yes I love gold let's full annex them no more caring about aggressive expansion boom perfect right Morocco is getting occupied by Portugal obviously uh, we can't see any of those guys yet. Although we did just gain vision of the Mamluks in Tunis. So uh, no colonies just yet. This. Wait, that doesn't look like Portugal. Isn't it like too bluish? I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll see. Portugal doesn't usually go for this though. It's usually Castile. All right, now that we've cored up Lobi, maybe we can finally fix our little economic problems here, which are mostly interest. So uh, yeah, there's Lobi. Uh, let's state that. Full stated, of course. Uh, let's activate Encourage Development. It is going to be pretty expensive to dev it, sure, but... Uh, we do have the points. Let's do something like that. 
like that and maybe like that perfect it's up to 10 let's let a month tick by and now we can lower our autonomy further and we should be making some nice income from gold excellent and now that we're done with that we can go fight joloff and acquire two more gold mines excellent excellent i do love it this one is at six already this one's at six already as well perfect so uh yeah we'll be making buckets a ducats boys let's declare for do we have claims on any of them no so i guess let's declare for um futa jalon right there there we go Easy war, boys. Easy war. No one can stop us. We are technologically superior now. Okay, how late are we? Mamluks, they're not late, but they're not ahead, so they're right in the sweet spot. So, 688. All right, all right. I'm 557, so I'm not too late. The most technologically advanced nation is probably something like uh, 788 or 888, something like that. Either way, let's take uh, the two gold mines from Jolof, taking the provinces I don't have claims on, by the way. <laughs> That's 56 AE. L listen, listen. I don't care about a man i don't care what i do care about actually is admin points so uh, i'll take i'll take the other stuff later thank you nice three gold mines baby let's uh take this mission wealth of africa yes inflation reduction i'll take it baby i'll take it all right next uh i'm thinking we wipe out yao and fulo or maybe wait segu who's segu oh where did these guys come from right let's wipe out fulo and segu and then fight the big boys all right excellent i was waiting to core this entire state up so we can turn it into a state obviously full core everything activate encourage development all oh, right right let me turn it off right here now it should be uh, cheap to dev. Bure right here, it's at 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10. Bambuk here, it's also at 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 10. Perfect. And now let's wait for a month. Perfect. And let's reduce autonomy there. Wait, why is it the why is the minimum 50? Why is the minimum 50? Well, I don't care. We're making tons of money, ladies and gentlemen. And now, listen, I'm gonna do what the AI does, man. Be 2,600 miles away from your enemy, army maintenance down, and still declare a war because, I don't know, it's just the AI, bro. <laughs> I couldn't lower autonomy because it wasn't a full core. Uh, I just found that out. How embarrassing. Well, you know what they say. You know what they say. The best event in EU for radical reforms. Get out of here, both of you. But not before I actually uh, fire those two guys, get the points, and get those two guys back, ladies and gentlemen. That's the real Sigma grind set right there. All right, now it's time to deal with all of these guys right here. You know, man, the real chads, they decrease autonomy all the time to farm army tradition and get even more income and trade and manpower and stuff like that. Listen. If you click the plus, beta. Click the minus, sigma. These Funj guys, man, I, I always forget they keep uh, showing up and they do have like uh, one, two, three, four, five provinces in the Sahel region, which we need. What I'm gonna try and do is beat Funj. Let's declare on them. Uh, conquer Darfur, there we go. Before these guys over here from uh, Jolof can break free. Listen, they can do it in about uh, 43 months. Let's see if we can uh, beat Funj and fight them before that happens. Eternal life, you say? Tell us more. Too bad I uh, picked a... Uh, well, actually, not too bad. I like it. Uh, I picked a permanent cult. I think it's... Uh, where is it? Ah, it's this one. Yeah. Uh, what's this? Uh, no. So Ashanti just popped out over here. Very nice. We're going to be conquering them as well. Awesome. Funj has been pretty much defeated. They might have some more provinces over here. I live literally don't care so uh let's take uh what should we take come on ah uh, there it is a hell uh oops i don't want to close the game and let's take all of this from them not full annexing them obviously benanese sahel wonderful uh let's go beat up these guys i can even take a tier 4 government reform modernization absolutism gov cap or centralized power do i need that gov cap uh not really i don't think i do or maybe i do let's take it now, if Yao was smart, they could just cancel my mill access that I have to them and lock me in here. And I literally, there's no way for me to get out over here unless I declare on them. But hey, Yao, it's not player, man. It's it's not a player. Not that smart. Sorry. Let's get these fellers out of the way. Boom. There we go. Take this. Get these guys out. Their fort is here. Boom. Put the OP general in charge. They're fighting. Nice. Quick and easy, boys. Quick and easy. Uh, who's next, man? Yao, Songai, or Jolov? Uh, it's pretty much all the same we're gonna have to fight songa either way so why not declare on them huh i literally have the highest morale of any nation that i know about uh by 
0.5. Let's declare on Songai finally directly and get some of Timbuktu's scores back like uh, Timbuktu proper. There we go. Let's wipe out Yao and uh, Jolof first. Pretty intense war to be honest. Songai has sieged down a big portion but that's fine. I wonder can I do what I mentioned earlier? See I asked for Yao for military access uh, but they give uh, access to Songai as well. So what happens if I cancel? Yeah Songai still has access. <laughs> Alright it was worth a shot boys. And they're actually even gonna beat up my rebels. How nice of them. And we're pretty much done with Songai boys. Let's give Timbuktu all of their course back. I think it's uh, these provinces. Yep it's those only 9a but lots of war score and uh how can i hurt these guys the most i'm thinking maybe we encircle them or something i mean they're gonna be encircled either way but this is as much as we can take from them maybe something like this though i don't know i don't know which are the most valuable provinces all right let's take that you're gonna have to fight them uh let's see two more times actually wow that's surprising all right no big deal oh i need to spawn colonialism too where am i gonna spawn this bro <laughs> Jesus. You guys have no idea how much rebels I'm fighting, man. Alright, enough of this rebel stuff. Uh, of course, uh, 17 more rebel armies are gonna pop out, but it is time to fight Jolof, boys. Alright, finally, next idea group time. Let's go with uh, expansion. And the war is done, let's do something like this. I'm taking stuff from Songai too, so I don't have to fight six more wars versus them. Awesome. I got rebels here, <laughs> surprise, surprise, and Yao has finally decided to block me off from uh, this part of my nation. You know what that means, bro? Yao, it's time to say, uh, uh, it's time to say goodbye. Quick truce resetting with Songai, perfect. We got it down from like uh, 20 years to like five years. Awesome. And it's time for Yao to leave the map. Finally, colonizing. Uh, 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 huh. Huh. Let's finish off uh, Songai, boys. Boom, no allies. Easy, easy. So easy. I'm so powerful. I don't care about bombing their forts. And that seems to be the end of that. We are... Oh, okay, now we can definitely piece them out. And we're the only nation in the entirety of West Africa. Awesome. Let me rival Portugal. <laughs> Alright, boys. I got a border with Portugal. Time to form some manpower and declare on them. Easy, man. And we're actually gonna be staying tribal. Let's form on a tribal... Let's form on an advanced tribe. By the way, the French have also arrived. Alright, boys. I think it's time. Let's declare on Portugal. Take Sora. Confirm. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, uh. Alright, well, that was a stupid move on my part. At least I've built castles and all my most vulnerable points, though, so they shouldn't be able to do too much landing and invading. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, stop drilling and, uh, get ready for action. I'm also gonna hire a merc company or two. Let's get, uh, I, I, uh, I can't afford anyone. Right, now I should be able to afford them. Yeah, free company, why not? Ew, I see you, Portugal. I see you. All right, all right, I've occupied the province I want. Let's go fight these invaders here. Man, they're going through these uh, forts fast. What the? Yes, let's see this epic battle in action. Oh, the no, they took the fort. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, this isn't going... Oh, actually, it's going great. Let me bombard it to uh, get it. Oh, no, not my boats too, man. Oh, uh, and I just got wiped up here too. Uh, let's, uh, let's try and retreat with these guys. No, they're still gonna get caught. You know, they're coming in from the rear and I am stab wiping them, but the problem is there's just so many of them. I have won a ton of battles, dude, but uh, look at their casualty. Oh, no, that's not the casualties. <laughs> Look at their casualties, man. Look at mine. Huh? Obviously, I'm a lot stronger. Ah, uh, they're just pouring in from the north, dude. I've I've managed to wipe out the guys that have landed, but the guys coming in from the north, it's hard to stop them. Please, please let me win this, man. No, they reinforced. No, wait. Oh, no, now I'm definitely losing it, man. I gotta get this fort back to trap them in. This is impossible. They're going through my fort so quickly. Please help. Send help. Anyone. Boys, help me. I mean, listen, I'm literally fighting like three of the greatest powers in the world, dude. Spain is number one, GB is number three, and Portugal is number eight. What do you want me to do versus these kind of numbers, bro? Oh, great. So now what I popped out. Listen, I did manage to white piece Naples. That's a win in my book. Ah, bankruptcy. I guess we really are back to tradition, boys. Become powerful for the entire game and then fail and go bankrupt and get disasters and nations pop out of you right at the end. Listen, it's gonna go down to the wire. What can I say, man? I'm not giving up unless they 100% me. Listen, I white pieced uh, Spain and uh, Great Britain. Now, if only I could uh, somehow beat Portugal. <laughs> I could not beat Portugal. <laughs> 
And instead, uh, this happened, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, listen, we're almost right back where we started from, with the exception of uh, some stuff we own right here. Basically, that was taken over first, the earliest, and uh, basically no rebels can pop out of there. We even got internal conflicts going. We went bankrupt. And listen, we started off as Benin, pretty powerful, one of the most powerful idea sets in the game. And we did manage to conquer all of West Africa, basically the Sahel, Niger, and Guinea regions, with the exception, of course, of uncolonized colonized provinces and provinces owned by the colonizers but in the end we could just not defeat portugal spain great britain and all of their colonies we were simply too weak for it and we've been defeated completely decimated by portugal by rebels by disasters by bankruptcies and listen this is where we're at man honestly not too bad we got cores on all of these guys we could retake this and uh yeah if only we had a little more manpower i guess not opening up with quantity messed up our run once again unfortunately it was pretty painful and i am gonna have to declare this run in a to z as benin a failure and that has been benin in a to z let me know in the comments below what i should do with this nation next week if you want to watch me do stuff like this live you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the red hawk live and if you want to watch playthroughs you can subscribe to the second channel link is in the description if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you want to see more a to z videos or more u4 videos in general definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything and you can become a member today and join the discord the link is in the description thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time with another eu4 video